friends who introduced me Chengdu as a very, very pleasant city. So I came to work here. Before that I didn't know anything about it, but um, I really enjoyed being here the first time. So when I was 17 years old, I became interested in Chinese philosophy, Buddhism, Taoism. I'm a really kind of guy, relaxed guy, easygoing guy, and I find that Chengdu is, has the same attitude and same lifestyle. I have been in China for around one year, eight months. From the, all the places that I was traveling in Asia, I chose uh, Chengdu because Chengdu provides me this really nice life and I am feeling really good with myself here. So I already have many friends came to Chengdu because I say it's a very good place to live and also it's a good place to, to develop their art business. And after a while I make many, many Chinese painters as a friend. And I thought it's very interesting to use their traditional techniques to make my Western way of thinking. In my museum that I plan to open in Long Chuan Yi, I plan to have an exhibition of meeting art between West and China. And I will paint like some fountain, like some landscape of Sichuan area. This time I wanted the artists from China to be fundamental to the show. The performance will bring together a Chinese idea and a Western idea onto the stage and beauty by bringing the two cultures together onto a performance. Give me what you want, but you These are authentic music that we are bringing to China and we're, we're like trailblazers in that respect and that we're the first. For me, I, one of the places that I love in Chengdu is the antique market next to Wenshu Monastery and you can go there and walk around and see all kinds of uh, interesting jewelry and art and uh, all kinds of things about Chinese culture. Chengdu uh, really fit to learn this kind of traditional like uh, art, craft work or something. We learn some uh, craft work, we learn some uh, Tai Chi, so in fact it keeps like a uh, treasure, protect a lot of old culture. Chengdu is the city of Panda. It's nice to be in an area where you have a lot of bamboo. I like uh, Chengdu food because, as I said, it's a spicy and in my country it's also spicy food, so that is really good. And also top. Chengdu is a foodie city. That means the people here really love all kinds of food from all over the world and there's a lot of choices. Coming to Chengdu, the best part is I've met a whole group of brand new friends, which for me is really oh, special. Oh no, I have no nose either. It's really lovely to be in Chengdu because it's a much more relaxed pace to live in and to work in for me. It's very easy to get around and ask for help and things like that. I think local people are also have a very good attitude in terms of the way that they like to live their lives. Each time that I talk of Chengdu, I don't. I talk as I am a local, as I am part of the community. I instead of saying they, Chinese in this case, I say us. Chengdu is relaxed, dynamic, balanced, peace, social, cultural, and opportunities. Super friendly.